Morning folks, welcome to an OCC Queensland Daily Weather Wrap today, the 28th of the 1st, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo, this update brought to you by our major sponsor, townsvilleshed.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed, safe, accredited shed. Alright, this morning we can see some storm activity around the Gulf Country, we can see some shower activity coming into the North East Cape, we can see some shower activity coming into large areas of Eastern Queensland. We had a big convective blob that developed between Mackay and Bowen overnight last night into this morning and uh, that's pushing offshore and weakening now. Rainfall in the 24 hours till 9 o'clock this morning thanks to the Bureau of Meteorology shows that big convective blob and the amount of rain that fell out of that big convective blob. I like those words. O'Connell, 124 millimetres and uh, I can't even say that word 115 millimetres and Lower Gregory Alert, 104 millimetres but all the way through from Bowen all the way down to Mackay we saw some big falls of rain from that blob. Uh, further southwards Camilla, 165 millimetres that's an incredible amount of rainfall. Notice the Townsville District, the Burdekin region and didn't quite get as much, but still some significant falls. And the North Tropical Coastline, look at that, great falls, widespread falls of 50 to 100 millimetres along that section of coastline. Fantastic rain. Those coastal showers across uh, the northeast coast at the moment are going to spread inland and we're going to see widespread convective development across the northern interior with possible moderate to heavy falls across that northern interior. Northwest Queensland should also see widespread showers and thunderstorms. We're also expecting to see some showers and storms across the Cape York Peninsula region. A couple of little sneaky convective cells down here around southeast Queensland are possible too. We've got some pretty cold upper level air this morning into around about early to mid afternoon and so that could help to assist some convective development down there. But the primary focus of convection and convergence is all through the northeast, the northern interior, and the northwest. Man, oh man, there's going to be some nice falls coming out of there. Uh, but remember, patchy. It's not a widespread rain event. It's a widespread shower and storm event. And showers and storms, by nature, are quite patchy things. Just remember, if it didn't happen in your backyard, doesn't mean it didn't happen, as we always say in uh, at OCC. Right, as we go into tomorrow, or overnight tonight, into tomorrow, you'll notice that a lot of the heavier falls of rain overnight move back towards the coastlines, and you can see around the Gulf coastline, chance for some overnight convection, and around northeast Queensland, once again, the heavier falls are tending to remain close to the coastline. We see a general decay of convection across inland areas, and we start to see a lot more moisture spreading southwards towards southwest Queensland tomorrow, and we see a widespread storm event developing across western Queensland tomorrow. Uh, in the morning tomorrow we can see widespread shower activity around that Cairns to Townsville coastline starting to move further north of Townsville tomorrow though. Rainfall between now and when we speak again tomorrow, we can see significant rainfall, particularly in this area between Townsville and uh, the, the Daintree to the north of Cairns. So that wet tropics coastline seeing a, a, a large amount of rain over the next 24 to 36 hours. Uh, we're also seeing can, uh, rainfall across that Mackay to Townsville coastline, but we will start to see that progressively shift northwards. Lots of potential for showers and thunderstorms, and I suspect that the falls that could fall out of those are going to be heavier than what the model's suggesting here. But I also suspect that they're going to be patchier than what the model's suggesting here. I don't expect to see a widespread blanket of 20, 30 millimetres plus. I expect to see a lot more patchy rain, but I also expect to see heavier falls than what you're seeing on your screen here. And we can see towards the morning hours, we're starting to bring that moisture southwards into southwest Queensland. A couple of little sneaky showers and isolated thunderstorms possible around southeast Queensland today, less likely tomorrow. And the Cape doing Cape things. We've got a truck tonne of run, rain over a truck tonne of places over the next 7 to 10 days. To find out more details about what's happening in the longer term, further out than 24 hours, head over to our subscription page, join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au, where we delve into the crystal ball and we tell you what we think's going to happen in a great amount of detail. You can see our video forecast, 24 minutes there for Queensland, 20-odd minutes for the Northern Territory and Northern WA. You can see North Queensland, specific forecast just for that area, 24 minutes dealing with all the different regions. South Queensland dealing with different regions. 15 minute forecast for them. So you can see how much depth and detail we're going into with our subscription service compared to what we do here. Uh, thanks for watching this video and have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.